Welcome one and all to this 60 second episode of D&D with me Mike And me Zoe And today Zoe's apparently giggling like a crazy person uh, What we're going to be doing is we're going to finally get round to dealing with the swords So we've done our little enemies here that we can kick in the butt and jump over them It's all about butts for some reason uh, And uh, we have also added a particle system for exploding enemies and exploding yourself. Oh, we Faroni! And we should have our vases and everything's fine. That, of course, has nothing in them. There's nothing in them. Stalking oh. this guy. I we Faroni again! <laughs> Dangaroo! <laughs> ha! Nicely done. See you later. And, uh, yeah, so we go to this room, and this is where we're going to get our sword. Our character right still kind of jumps there at the beginning. These are some problems that we may at some point address right now. Not really a big deal, so we're going to leave that there. All right, so for the sword, what we're going to have to do is take a look at our player. And then make a sword. Well, I don't particularly care about that quite just yet. What I'm worried about is how it will structurally function. So when he carries the sword, we need to pair the sword to his hand. Mm -hmm. So there should be some kind of animation. Now that animation will be completely cosmetic, meaning it will do absolutely nothing mm. other than looking like it's there. Now, we can make only one animation where he just hits with his sword. Mm -hmm. We can make multiple animation and stri animations and string them together like a combo. Mm. What do you want? Simple, a single sword hit, so it always repeats the same animation? Mm. Probably. We always hit the same kick. Yeah, but that's just because the kick will be replaced very quickly by stuff. It's very obvious that the kick is not the primary way in which you interact with the world, if that makes sense. Mm. So... Maybe... Yeah, maybe more than one and then random between it, one, them. Okay, so you would want this basically all the same equivalent sword slashes. Not like, ha, 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 like the third one stronger or something like that. Because mm. that's more complicated, right? If we just do individual hits that are essentially all the same, then sure, fine. That's not that difficult. We could also make them so that they alternate, say, from right to left and then from left to right and from right to left and from left to right and so on. If we had consecutive ones, yeah. Consecutive, consecutive. Consecutive. Wrong accent. Oh. Wrong accent. Right, so the sword will be in his hand, right? All right, so what we're going to have to do... Is he going to be right-handed or left-handed? Uh, he is going to be right-handed. You decide. Right He's going to be right-handed. Right-handed, okay. As my grandpa used to call them, normals. My grandpa was a bit old-fashioned. Um, okay, so we do have a sword holder with a sword and a model. That's interesting. Does this mean we've already accounted for some of this? I'd be very surprised if we did. So let's take a look at the code. Oops, it's opening to a different screen. Alright. Um, play. So hit Control f in the current document, look for sword. Just Put in sword. Look for sword. That's it. So no, we're not accounting for this thing existing. Okay, so it doesn't matter at all. Awesome. That means we can actually put it wherever we want to. So, avatar, armature, control, hips, spine, arm right, hand right. See how all of them have shadows? That doesn't particularly matter. Mm. But it's... We're good now to give this a sword holder. And then we're going to reset its transfer. So it's right here. Mm. Now, here... Do we have a control view? No. None of my tools are present, guys. Okay, sword and model. Alright, so we can see a problem right away. Everything is bananas. Sword is fly. So let's do scale 111, first of all. And then the model, hmm, we need ourselves a model. You know exactly what we'll do. We're gonna go to models. Uh, wait, so for the sword we should probably make it in... 
Magic of Oxel first. A guy just said a shortcut to what you were trying to do, I think. Alt Shift A? Is that so? No, I don't think so. I don't think that activates and deactivates. At least. Oh, never mind, I press Alt Control. Ha! <laughs> I had no idea. I've coded my own tool to do this because I did not know about the shortcut. <laughs> he also wrote Alt Shift Q. Alt Shift Q? Oh, because I do control Q, because I've of a tool I've I've built myself. Alt Shift Q. Okay, Alt Shift Q doesn't seem to be doing anything. Alt Shift A is doing things. Might be A. It is A. Thanks, Ibu. All right. So, magic of Oxo. Uh, we do we leave forty by forty? I'm a zerty. Oh, French, or Belgian, or maybe Dutch from Belgium. All sorts of possibilities. Okay, so, size 60, no, 40, 40, 40. Do we... Canadian on a Zerti. Isn't that interesting? Quebec. Um, okay. I didn't know that the French Quebec keyboards are a Zerti. Well, oh. My game supports a Zerti, so I win. So, what do we got here? This is the fella. And um, what will we do? Uh, we're going to give him the thing in the right hand. Yes, but we need to build it. Right. But mm -hmm. I don't remember how big this character is in the model. Mm. 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 Mm, as in L. Mm. Mm. Are you turning Japanese now? Mm. Mm. Well done. No. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Interesting adventure. Where's the character? Where's the adventure character? Hero? What do, player. Player. That's the one. Adventure player. Bop. Okay, so there's the player, and we're just gonna sort of utilize his hand to begin modeling a sword, and then we'll delete everything else. Okay. Like, I'm not I'm not fussed about things being out of proportion or in the wrong place. French living in Canada. Are you a real game dev or just for fun? I'm a real game dev, and my most re recent release is available on Steam on sale right now during the... Halloween sale, so take a look. Um, we're not going to address the chat too much uh, because we need to finish our show first, which goes to YouTube, so we need to be a bit disciplined, but uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions uh, later. So, let's see. Okay, let's remove some of these silly bits here. Uh, I'm going to go back to attach. Box is probably good. So I'm going to remove these and these here from the back, so we have a bit of a block. We're gonna use that block to start our sword. Okay, now let's simply attach face and go. It doesn't matter if it's the wrong color, I really don't care. So shall I make it this big, is that okay? Sure, that's probably good. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I have a box sword and we said it was a wooden sword. Sure, I'm not too fast about the material right now. I know, I'm that's just a... saying. Are you just saying, are you? I am. Are you, am I being accused of things? No. No? Okay. Uh, I, I can't see. There. That'll do. Something like that. Working at Ubisoft. I interviewed for Ubisoft when I, when I used to live in Montreal a long time ago. <clears throat> I did used to work in Montreal for a different company. Okay, so here and here and we're gonna give it um, there something like that and then add a bit add a bit okay and then the back of the sword here let's make this a little bit longer it's going through the man just like that okay okay that looks like a good enough sword should we make it a little longer Mm, I think that is good. That is good. It's longer than his legs. <laughs> Who needs legs when you have a sword, am I right? Uh, wait, I'm not happy with the level of detail. Isn't that adding more detail? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh. Aren't you adding more detail, Daddy? That's 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 the point. I thought you meant it has too much detail. It's too much detail. 
It's literally a box. Too much detail. And at the back now. Most of the games on Steam right now, that's true. Too much detail. Huh. Oh. What does that mean? It means I'm making fun of dreadful indie games on, on Steam. Yep. Um, okay, so this goes away. This probably goes away. This, this, and this. Is there a shortcut for removing? I'm holding shift. So oh. that would be a shortcut, I suppose. Cool. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, go to face and remove all of this red stuff. We Bye, player's arm. And okay, part we of just his hold. Body. <sighs> Look at it. Oh no, he only has bones. Die. Poor guy. <laughs> he, he's losing every. This isn't particularly fast, but it's heck of, heck, heck of a lot of fun. Heck of fun? <laughs> heck of fun. <laughs> Wait, there's, uh, there's a better way. Um, I think it's this. Wrecked. Select. Bleed. There we go. And now the last thing that we need to do is we need to uh, push this forward. Like this. Mm. One more. And at the bottom. Boop. In our box. Click, 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 click. There we go. So we got his lovely, lovely sword. It's a With a cross at the start. Well, yeah, it needs to have a, a hilt. Yep. How is he going to hold it otherwise? With his mind? With his dub, with his two hands. I think you can create multiple objects. That's possible. I'm not not familiar with the software too much. Okay, here we go. Right. So now we're going to. Uh, shall we save this? Even if it's wrong, I don't care. Right. So let's go to save as. Sword. Uh, yeah, adventure type sword with a capital S here. Hit enter. Are you sure you want to replace it? I am pos. Wait, what? Sword? Want to replace it? I had made one and sent it. Oh. And then I forgot I had made one. And sent <laughs> well, it. I forgot you made one too, so there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Uh, now for exporting, unfortunately, this guy doesn't remember where it wants to be, which is bloody annoying. Copy this. Pasta. And save. And now, finally, we can open our player. And now we're gonna add it to the player. Whoa. Escape. And now we're going to import the sword. So we're gonna file, import, where are you? There you are. Pull Y, adventure sword, now it shall be gigantic. So, ah, uh, I can't remember. 64 by 64, so we can do a simple division. Okay, divide this by 64. Right, I can do it here, it's much faster. The numpad is nice. <laughs> well, that went well, didn't it? Didn't it? You crazy lady. Oh, I got it. All right. Where's the sword now? I can't see it. Uh. uh dot. He? Did it disappear? I sincerely hope not. Uh. No, it's right here, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is. In the shield. That's all good. So what we're going to do is we are going to hit uh, hold control, alt and shift and press C. At the same time? Yes. And we're going to say ge release them. We're going to say geometry to origin and then we're going to take care of the rest. All right. So first things first, uh, we're going to do a uh, remove doubles. So type remove doubles. Doubles? What's a double? <laughs> Bloody animal. Doubles. Both of them are doubles. <laughs> doubles. Uh, limited dissolve. Thank you. All right. Now give me a second here. I'm gonna need some some keyboardage. 
So can we make this more efficient? Certainly can. So here we can create a lovely quad as opposed to having an end gone. Yep. Uh, F. F. Okay. Other side. Wait, I want to move this to a different layer so I can work in peace. Without shield in the way. That's right. That's right. Nobody cares about that guy anymore. What? <laughs> Nobody cares about that guy anymore. The shield? No. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes no. and no. Him mm -hmm. and the shield and its master. Its master? And it's all. I am its master. Well, it, the guy the guy that wields it. Wields it? Okay. So that's one. Now here we can create uh, something less ridiculous than what we've got as well. Uh, let's do something a bit quicker. Now you notice how there are some points in midair. Oh, Those yeah. are supposed to be centers of, of the faces. The reason why you find them there is because blenders know what to do with these N-Gons. Uh, generally speaking, N-Gons are a terrible idea. Uh, mm -hmm. They're fine on flat surfaces, so for Magic of Oxford stuff would be okay, but I'm not happy with the topology in general, so I like to remake them, just fix them up, especially when, when it's quick enough to do. Okay, there's another huge angle on right here. Everything else should be squares or rectangles. Oh, apparently I forgot one face. Now, frequently you would do this with a mirror, but we're not going to cut this in half just to do that. This is okay. It's fairly easy, right? Just a few faces. Yeah, and now we have a huge angle. Boom. Boom. This one's going to be fairly easy to deal with. We may need a couple triangles, but I don't even think so. So for these, it's going to be just quadrilateral faces. Like that. Easy peasy. And one in the middle. Right. And then there's another one that we're going to do right here. And this is where the, the questions begin. No, they don't, actually. Because you could do this, and then this, and then this, and then this. There's part at the bottom as well. Yep. Working on it. Darn it. Okie doke. Dude. Dude, do, 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 do. I find art extraordinarily, extraordinarily relaxing to do. Okay, so here's a little sword. That's good. Now, one problem we've got is the pivot. See where the pivot is? Right in the center. I'm not happy with that. Center. <laughs> this is where I want the pivot to be. Oh, so that's where he's going. I th keep thinking this is going to be where he's holding it. He's going to hold it by the, by the blade. That would be exceedingly uncomfortable, I would think. So yeah, about here should be good. Now let's quickly see. Doesn't really look like a blade. So it could be the wrong rotation, but I'm not too fussed. So let's hit Control A, apply rotation and scale. I don't know if location makes any sense. Yeah, okay, we can do that too. Save. All right. So now we can call it a wooden sword and wooden sword. Capish. Capish. Okay, doke. There. So now we can close Magic of Oxel for now, and now this guy should go like, okay, I'm happy. And now we're going to tell it, awesome, now that you're happy, what we're going to do is, on your right arm, we're going to give you a sword. So we got a sword called Lord the Sword and the Model. Let's go to the model and change it to Wooden Sword. And as you can see, at least the size is correct. Mm -hmm. So we got a few problems. Sword is placed at Z1. Let's put it at 0. Let's also reset its collider. Oh, I understand. The collider doesn't know what to do with it. Um, we are going to move the collider to the model. Now, the reason why you want to do this type of thing is because if you hit reset, there it is. Now, with all this said, I don't even think we're going to have a collider for the sword. Hmm? Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a collider for the sword. I think that our sword is going to be l just cheating, pretty much. Oh. So we're going to do a quick swing, and whenever that swing happens, if anything is in t sort of in the area of that swing, in the attack module, mm. we're going to do something with, with that. We're going to cause damage or whatever it is. Okay. 
Okay, so we don't actually need a box collider, at least not for now. No, we need to give it materials. And we don't need a rigid body either. Okay, so sword and model, fine. The sword may have particle systems, who knows. So, first of all, we need to figure out where this is gonna go. So you can see that the the hand, its base is down there. Right? Mm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the sword holder to about here. So let's go with negative point oh seven uh, six five. Okay, something like that. Then what we need to do is we also need to rotate the sword. Kind of in his arm. Yes, I mean, his arm is... Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, we need to rotate it a bit. It can't be in, at this angle. So to do that, we should probably do it on the holder itself. Um, let's switch to local. Is this global or local? Local. Okay, okay so 90 degrees on the y-axis. And... 90 degrees on the x-axis. And there is more or less the sword. So he's going to be carrying it like this. Yes. His running animation isn't particularly clever for his sword. <laughs> we may have <laughs> to change that a little bot. bit, but that's all right. Look at him, how happy he is. With his sword, sword in his basically bot. up his bum. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor guy. He's going to slice his bum open. Don't, don't do that, sir. That's uncomfortable. Okay, but that's pretty good. It's in a good spot. Uh, there is one thing though, which surprises me a little bit. It looks like the pivot of the hand is not exactly in the center. So we got a bit of Z fighting there. Uh huh. So there's gonna be Z fighting one way or the other. So let's avoid the Z fighting and keep it more on the inside. I think that will be more slightly more realistic. Is not it that actually anybody will called ever see. Z fighting? Yes, Z fighting. What what Z fighting is is when what's called the Z buffer can't determine which uh, surface is first needs to be drawn first. So mm. in two D you can arbitrarily decide just like in GIMP which layer comes first, right? Mm. But in the real world, you have space, right? And so if I put this notebook here in front of the screen, I see it before the screen. Yeah. Yeah. In games, we emulate that with something called the Z buffer. Mm. Okay, and basically, if you have two 3D objects that are precisely on top of one another, or two 3D surfaces that are exactly in the same spot, so like you you could you can't do it in real life. I know, kind of like this. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly. So let's look here closely. I'm gonna drag it gently. Okay. So it's gonna be incredibly difficult for me to make it be exactly there. All right? Yeah, it's refusing to do, to be there. Okay, let me try 74 here. Four, five, six, um, three, five, two. Aha! There. Oh yeah. You should start right seeing weird artifacts. In the exact same spot. Right, so top. this is what happens when two textures or two surfaces, uh, two materials are fighting for space exactly in the same spot mm. okay and then you and now so we're just gonna move it a bit further back so and now it's the outside skin color conquered the space and on the other side the sword conquered the space all about conquering yes <laughs> sounds good okay so that's done and we have the sword so now literally every animation should immediately work with the sword attached mm. Let's see. see. Look at him. Ooh. Look at him run about with his little stick. While slicing his butt open. And he's kicking with a stick in his butt. <laughs> okay, so that's not that bad, right? Now, we want a few things with this lovely sword of ours. I wonder how he'll hold objects now. Hmm? I wonder how he'll hold objects Well, we're going to hide the sword every time he holds an object. That's okay. not very difficult. I know. Um, bear in mind the sword is just purely cosmetic, like right? So it's not, it's not important. Does do you know collider? That's right. Doesn't have anything. 
we have an attack module that will worry about that. Um, now, let me think for a second. Right, for the sword, there's more things we want to do with it. Hey, oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, Sorry, uh, I thought I was in prefabs. So, here's our player again. Now, one thing we forgot is materials for the sword. Right, mm -hmm. so this one's supposed to be a wooden sword, so it's only going to have one material. Okay. Um, we'll worry about that later, but we may even call this one wooden sword. Yeah, just type wooden. Uh, there you go. Wooden sword uh, model, and uh, it's got a default material. That's no bueno. Let's go to materials, characters, bomb eyes, fuse, blah. blah. Uh, is there a wood? Here, maybe in the map world. Uh, let's duplicate one of them, like, um, let me see, metal. Duplicate metal. Call this one wood. Wood. <coughs> wood. That's a different type of wood. Oh. Oh. Wood. Yeah, that's exactly how it went. Um. There's his wooden sword. Look at him all happy. Now, what we're going to do with the wooden sword is we are going to give it a trail. So it looks more interesting when he walks about and sort of flails it around. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So to give it a trail, we want the trail to go basically from here to here mm -hmm. and to sort of disappear fairly quickly. Okay. So I see Zed fighting. Where do you see Zed fighting? In the foot. Oh yeah. And the that's leg. true. Uh, that's so small that we don't care. But yes, you're correct. That's that fight. So model. Uh, shall we do it to the to the model? Probably. So add component. Trail. Renderer. Okay. So, it'll be a matter of deciding where it is, and how wide it is. I think it should be at the tip. That's the trail. <laughs> now, the reason why it's so pink is because it doesn't have a material. If it doesn't have a material... It's pink. It, it gives you a default pink one. Uh, so for the material for this one, we will need a particular texture for sure. At least one. And that texture needs to be transparent. And it needs to be darker, sorry, more transparent on one side and less transparent on another. On another. Let's see if we have something for, 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 for the sprites or textures or something. PFX... Anything in PFX? So we got some circles. We got a drawn icon. Uh, dr drown icon. Oh yeah. We have so circles, but we do not have anything that would meet what we're looking to do. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna just double click drown icon fader. We're just gonna open this. It's fine. Okay. And now we're gonna grab the gradient tool. Hold here. Hold the shift. Uh, hold control as well. And release. Uh, sorry, let's do it again. Hold Control and Shift. There, actually, keep it, keep it, hold them. There, that's good. So I don't know if this is the correct direction, the wrong direction, we'll find out later. But for now, we're just going to immediately overwrite. Oh dear. That's a problem. I need to make it again. File override. Overwrite and then file export and call this one uh, trail trail sword trail sure actually wooden sword trail it's fine it's fine hear that never mind just in case we make other trails for other swords. I think it's quite unlikely that we will, but that's okay. All right, so there it is. And so our model, etc. we are going to need a material. We do not have a material. So we're going to go under PFX and we're going to duplicate explosion. Call this one do PFX sword trail. And it already says PFX, just sword trail. Mm-hmm. I need to be consistent. Yeah, but if you then use it for every other sword, you're not so much consistent as a fool. That's okay. All right, fade. Uh, we're probably going to put it as additive. And uh, albedo. 
it needs this. Now the problem is this one. The game doesn't know. Uh, we're gonna leave it on repeat. That's fine. But is fine. But what we need is for grayscale to be an alpha source. So the darker it is, the blacker it is, the more it's alpha. Mm, okay. So that's how it functions. Apply. So back to the model. And we're gonna give this one PFX wood. So one problem with additive is this type of artifact. Additive means that it adds itself on top of itself, sort of thing. And we're going to try and see if we can do something better. Transparent, fade, cutout. Uh, cutout doesn't seem to be terrible, but I don't know that we are getting... is a bit odd the way it's behaving it's like a snake yeah it's like it's catching up to me a month later it's a bit weird um, okay all right so back to that material and back to deciding whether it's going to be additive or not. I mean, maybe additive is okay after all, you know. What about subtractive modulating? You know, There's page? various other modes. Um, not sure which one would be best: fade, transparent, or additive. Yeah. So, oh, particle standard surface. So we could go with standard actually, and then tell it it's fade. Uh, wait, isn't there another standard? FX. One of them is called Zoe. Oh yeah, well that's f the drown icon. Mm. That's one of the, the ones we made ourselves. Yep. Particles, standard surface. Oh, that was the one. Never mind. Okay, so here's the additive version. Cool, cool. Now it's a matter of deciding how large it's going to be, which is quite difficult to do because you can't really see much, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm thinking. So it would probably need to be on a child object, but the model should be fine. Because it will depend on the rotation. Mm, this may not be the best technology we could use. We may need to create our own or just give up on this particular effect because it's not that simple uh, to make a proper trail, you know? Mm. But for sure we need smaller width. So let's try with this. Okay, that's a bit more sensible. Uh, minimum vertex distance, time, very, very short. That's how it would look like. I think the time needs to be even shorter. I think we need to attach it to to the blade of the sword. Yeah, of course. Uh, now, in fact, I don't know that we can simply do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty. Call this one trail. And now we're going to... It's a mesh render. Oh. No, it's a trailer and they're number four. Copy component, remove component, paste component is new. There we go. And now when you move the model, a trail will work, but the trail can be shifted to where it needs to be. Yeah. Okay, now two is kind of insufficient, it looks like. So let's try with 24. Okay bit more reasonable. Yep. Still not perfect. Let's try with 0.38. Okay, it's looking basically perfect. So we're gonna do this. Uh, now, you'll notice one problem. What's happening to the trail? It looks like it's denser 
on the outside than the inside, so I got it exactly backwards. Mm. Control E. That's much better. Mm -hmm. now, now it looks like it's whooshing through the air. Yeah, the, the rotation though is not going to look exactly right. And this trail probably could use a color. So let's go with um, basically this one. And we're going to choose some kind of brown. There. So you see one problem is for sure it's rotation. Yep. So I don't know if there's properties that we can use for that. Uh, and probably we need to be a little longer than this. Minimum vertex distance 0.1, sure. Emitting corner vertices and cap vertices. Alignment view, alignment transform Z. No, that doesn't seem to be making a difference. Mm. For that texture mode stretch, shadow bias, size, cast shadows off, receive shadows off, light rows off, per object motion, camera motion, I'm not sure what this is. Then I conclusion, sort in layer, we'll leave that alone, order in layer, we'll leave that alone. Okay. So this won't be brilliant. In fact, it may be so ugly that we may want to throw it away. Or we may want to change it, like put it just at the tip. So it may look much better. We'll see. Okay. Okay. It's not that easy to do these. Uh, yeah. When you do these, you need to... Like, you need to create your own solution or buy one from the asset store, something decent. Because this default solution is just far too basic. Mm. So it, it, it will tend to look terrible. That's normal. We got a bit of an effect. We'll see if it's anything decent. My bet is no. Mm. Uh, okay, so we need to put the wooden sword, or the model, I should say, back to where it belongs. And uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it looks like. Can't see it. You can't see it? Yeah, neither can I. can't see the sword either. That's true. Where is it? Let's go to the scene and zoom it in maybe. Yeah, he's not holding it. Oh, he, he has it oh. in his neck. <laughs> he stabbed himself. Well, poor, poor guy. Alright, what's happening here? What's happening here, friendo? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your sword? It's uh, it's in a very uncomfortable place there, sir. <laughs> so uncomfortable that you are dead. Except we're not making you dead. Okay, so there's a Y. That's weird. That one we'll leave alone. Wooden sword is correct and sword holder should be correct. Okay, <laughs> no, so that's correct. It's holding, he's holding it correctly. He's, he runs too fast. I can see his uh, little... Sword. No, but the, the effect as well. I can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's not that bad, actually. It's kind of acceptable. What does he do when he kick? Huh? He holds it behind him. Yeah, he puts it behind his back. In a really weird, awkward way. <laughs> yeah, like kind of like this. That's okay though, the way he runs is fine. The way he holds it is wrong. So the problem is his, uh, his stance is, his relaxed stance is fine, but, and his breathing is fine, but his back is not leaned forward enough or his hand is too far back or the hand is rotated, we could simply rotate the hand and it would be okay. One other option would be to also rotate the sword holder, but it looks fine when he's running, so I'm not that sure, right? Mm. I don't know that I want to rotate this any more than we already have. Oh, not, not this axis, so I'm guessing it's going to be this axis. Yeah. 
I saw the trail when you whooshed it. Huh? That doesn't look half bad. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, gimbal. Gimbal magic. So, yeah, we could put it like this, right? It's flying. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. Bear in mind the two are not connected. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, we need to modify his stance a little bit. Right? Mm -hmm. In this animation. So, let's go ahead and do that. Um, that's, and then we move. I'm confused. There's two of them. Shield and shield. Eh? So this one is in two places at once? Huh. Who the thunk? I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, okay. Shield's over there. Bones in the body. Okay. So now let's. Uh, I think we had put the shield there because we wanted to see how to it would play work. Player idle? Yeah, probably. Switch to player idle, and the player idle animation is really, really cheap, so that should be fairly easy to do. Let's grab his thing, hit R to rotate, and hit I. Now hit Control C, Control V, I. R, I. So let's see how it plays now. Yeah, that's good. He seems to be now, breathing hard. Rotate. And rotate. I. Control C. Control V. I. R. I. And now control. Oh, wait. Mistake. Oof. Careful. Okay. The press I. Yes. Save. And there we go. So this should work immediately basically. So there was a small problem with our character's positioning of things that was completely bonkers. So let's quickly go to the prefab player and take a look at what's happening here. So the trailer is it aha uh -huh. no the trail's correct. The model is there, the wooden sword is there and the sword holder is here. Mm -hmm. And for some reason it was all bonkers. Oh we forgot something. We forgot to rotate his hands. Rotate his hands. But this should probably be the default position, and so yeah, I think we should adapt it to that. So let's quickly do this, and then we'll take a look. There he is. Look at him. Mhm. Mm that is a correct position. Yeah. Well, I mean, a He's bit dangerous holding the sword this close to yourself, but so we can rotate his hand. He's using both hands to hold it as well. We may even be able to do this. Okay, so hit R. Z. Hmm. There should be a way to do it locally, but I can't remember how. Is it this? Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Global. Local. Okay. Hit R. Uh, y, probably. Z. I thought it told you to be local. Oh well, never mind. R. I. Excuse me. So this may or may not work right away, I'm not sure may get stuck and then work. No, it works right away. There. Good. Uh, sort of. It's a little bit too rigid now. Uh, 
and now we should get a more elegant movement. Yep. Uh, not and really, but okay. And I see a small trail there. He's very, very simple, this little character of ours. Yeah, and um, what if he runs? <laughs> I saw his hands up. I ended up in the water. I'm in the water. I'm going to perish. Oh, look at me swimming with my sword. <laughs> He's got some skills. He does have some skills. Oh, oh kick him in the butt. And stick your sword in the butt at the same time. Is he, the, is he doing it? Is he sticking his sword in his I butt? I think that's what I saw. He was sticking it somewhere in his body. No, not while he's running, while he was stomping the guy. Oh, sure. Well, when he's stomping the guy, we're going to hide it. Yeah. Right, we're going to worry about all of this functionality later. For now, we've got the sword and it's in place, so that's not too bad. I think I'm seeing a bit of weirdness when he stops abruptly with the, with the trail, but that's okay. Up. Huh? I think he's bringing his sword back up like this. Probably, yeah. So I think this is working fairly well. And this is a good starting point for a little sword. So we're going to stop here for tonight. Thanks everyone for watching. And we'll see you again next time for episode 63. We're going to carry on working on the sword. Okay. Bye. Bye.